Hello, uh, this video is uh, a synopsis of uh, the sermon I gave on Sunday. It was based on Psalm 119, verse 172, uh, actually 172b, and then uh, Luke 18, 15 through 17. And uh, in that sermon, the reason I'm giving this synopsis is because our, our, uh, our videographer, is uh, doing uh, mission work along with uh, Jim Burke at uh, Nicaragua right now, and so he was not available to video the sermon. Uh, so I just want to give him a, a little synopsis. The, the sermon uh, really had to do with the fact that God is calling all of his people to maturity of faith. You know, when we're born again, we start out, the Bible says, as infants. Uh, and we need to be fed on the pure milk of the Word. Uh, but we're not supposed to remain infants. We are actually supposed to grow up and mature so that we can enter in to the ministries on earth that God would have mature sons and daughters enter into. There are things that we need to do, and that requires us to enter into maturity. And when do we know that we have begun to enter into maturity of faith? The answer, really, I believe, is found in Psalm 119, verse 172. In that verse, we read this. The psalmist is talking to God and says, All your commandments are right. It can also be translated, All your commandments are righteous. Both translations work. First of all, all God's commandments are right. In other words, there, there's no lie in them. They're completely true. They're the way it is. And when we deviate from God's word, then bad things happen. All his commandments are right. Also, all his commandments are righteous. In other words, they're completely pure. They're completely holy. They're completely good. There's no evil to be found in anything that God says. So, to put it succinctly, we know that we have begun to reach maturity when we're no longer arguing with God. When we finally say to God, Lord, your Bible is the truth. It's the whole truth. It's nothing but the truth. I believe it. I submit to it. I'm going to live it out. That's when we've come to maturity. When we can finally say of the Bible, of God's Word, you're completely right. I'm not going to argue with you anymore. I'm not going to judge your ethics anymore. I'm not going to treat the Word like a box of trail mix where I, I eat the stuff I like and throw out the rest. All your word is true and right and righteous. And I submit myself to it and will live according to it. That's when we start to reach maturity. And you know what Jesus calls this? In uh, Luke 18, he calls it being childlike. Not childish, where we insist on our own way, but childlike. Childlike is believing what your father says. Believing it implicitly. That's the way it is, and that's how we're going to run our life. You know, little kids will often fight others because one kid or another tells them that their mom and dad isn't telling them the truth. And they say, yes, he is. Their parent has said it. They believe it. That's the way it is. And that's the attitude that Jesus wants us to have towards the Word of God, the Bible. God has said it, that's the way it is, and we're to live it out. But now, there's something here we need to see. If we're going to have that maturity, then we need to come to this conclusion. Not only is God's Word right, but we are to live it out, and that means we're to live it out uh, whether we feel like it or not. In other words, God says to forgive, and we're going to forgive whether we feel like it or not. God says to repent, and we're going to repent whether we feel like it or not. God says lay your hands on the sick and they shall recover, and we're going to do that whether we understand everything about healing or not, and we're going to do that whether we feel uh, scared about it or not. We are going to do what God says. And see, when we start to do 
what God has said because it's the truth. Then we're going to see great things. Then we can enter into the ministry that God has for us to do. So today, let's remember, God is looking for us to grow up. And that requires us to have maturity of faith. And we know that we've begun to reach maturity. When we can say of God's word, all your commandments are right. I'm not going to argue with you anymore, God. You're completely right. The world is wrong. I'm going to do it your way.